I never ever had the opportunity to play it at school or in university just with working so hard as well and I just thought New Year may as well give something new a try. Emailed the girls and they got back to me straight away and invited me to come up for a wee session and I've been doing it every single week ever since. Best decision ever made. <laughs> The guy, Nathan, who used to run it, was work, like, a worker at my summer scheme and he, it was like the rugby week and it was actually the only week that was left. So I kind of had to go and then I started to enjoy it so he asked me to go to his club and then I joined it. So two years ago um, I tried to recruit a lot of girls and um, we ended up getting about 20 of us together and started up the first girls rugby team at Valley Clare High School. So for the last two years we've been, been improving our skills, we have been working really well as a team together and I've recently started playing for the Valley Clare Rugby Football Club and really enjoying it. I, I just really enjoy it and I love the training and the girls here we've become really good friends and um, we have really good coaches and we just have a good time together. Do you know, a lot? I have a core of players that I've had for maybe, what, five, six years now and they have basically, through word of mouth, um, through Facebook, uh, chatting away to people saying, you know what, this is really a lot of fun. But I volunteer down in St Dominic's High School as well and uh, the girls have basically come, come to me as a part of their tag, you know, coming through the school's cup plan and they come down here have a little bit of a go. There's an awful lot of work being done by Glenda Mellon and Zoe Templeton in schools and that pays off because the girls do come down. You see them coming down, they start playing the full game and they really enjoy it. Well, the school competed in the school, Girls Schools Cup um, Tag Rugby last year and I came in and I'm obviously very encouraged to get all aspects of rugby developed in Ballyclare High. So uh, some we started off and the girls are more than interested with the numbers we have. It's pretty good crack and the girls are really genuine and good fun and uh, just tough girls and they're get fun to be with. Uh, this year's the biggest year of the Schools Cup. We actually have had probably about 60 schools that we've been involved with um, who have all kind of had teams either at Blitzes or at the qualifiers and now kind of we're down to the last 16. It was really through uh, Ulster Rugby. Glenda Mellon, the development officer, made contact with the school and asked would we be interested. So Glenda's been in and working with some year eights initially and then we sort of opened it up to year 12s and our senior pupils and that's who we've got with us today. I like the team aspect of it, we all get on so well together. Um, I also like the agility, everything's so fast and I just think it's such a great sport to play, especially if you're wanting to you know, get your anger out. <laughs> I have been playing for nine years and I first of all started off playing for Ralstown Minis. Um, I, I came down, my dad told me to, about it, I came down and uh, we took all the bangles and necklaces off being a six year old girl. and then learn how to tackle, learn how to pass and I got sent into a wee match. Now that we actually have two female officers, um, we're working across such a bigger area and being able to take in so many more schools. Um, and even within each school, the girls are enjoying it so much that they're kind of taking us in for three or four different year groups so that we're actually involving so many more people. Just really through working in Belfast, um, the likes of Zoe, contact with Zoe Templeton here, our club captain. Um, always wanted to play a bit of rugby, never had a chance, come from a Gaelic background. so. Once got chatting to her and stuff, she told us to come along and since then really never looked back. The skills are pretty transferable, as you say, the handling skills, the ball skills and you know, the kicking, you're throwing your catch and stuff like that. It's very, uh, it was very easy to transfer over. I mean, there's four clubs in Belfast alone that the girls can go to. Um, and then outside, I mean, you've got the likes of Ballon and Hinch that have just started up, you've got Dromore that have just started up. It's just literally expanding and I think that's off the back of the Grand Slam last year. Girls are like, you know what, I can do that. I can play rugby. It's not just for my brother, it's not just for my dad. I can get into that too and make a bit of a family event of it. They love getting mucky. Uh, I think it's a great social game. Uh, they're netballers and athletes mainly, so the skills they've already got from those two sports are transferring over to the rugby. So they, you know, they're having success from an early stage and they just love it. Whenever I was about 17, 18, I knew I wanted to play for Ireland and in fact, the women's team played a warm-up game here against Scotland and I was, I think I was 18 by one day and I put my boots in the boot of the car <laughs> to come watch it. Yeah, well my time's quite limited with what I can do after school. I'm involved with all levels with, with rugby in the school, so um, we've done a few Tuesday and Thursday mornings and the girls are more than keen to get out for, uh, I think we've had about 25 in a couple of mornings and they're just round for more really. Whenever we walked um, into the Aviva in the Italy game, there was just like so many people, like because obviously we had to come across the road and um, everybody got stopped and there was just hundreds and hundreds of people screaming, it was, it was pretty cool.